G'day, I'm Michael Thompson. I'm a Big Fix Technical Advisor based in Melbourne, Australia, covering the Asia-Pacific region. Today I've got a video about how we can install Big Fix Insights for Vulnerability Remediation, um, sometimes referred to as IVR. And for those that don't know what that is, it's a capability that we've got that will integrate with existing vulnerability assessment tools like Tenable and Qualys and Rapid7. They're great at being able to identify vulnerabilities that exist in your environment, but the remediation portion can sometimes be a little lacking. So what we do is we integrate and provide a real-world um, solution for customers. Certainly customers I speak to, they typically will get a CSV out of their particular vulnerability assessment tool. And the security team generally does that, will then rank those particular vulnerabilities, decide which ones they want to close, and then usually they'll hand that spreadsheet over to the operations team once they've put filters on it and things, and they'll say, you know, can you please go and close these particular vulnerabilities? And it's up to the operations team to then work out what patch closes what vulnerability, and you know, the, the larger the comp, um, the larger the organization, the more complex it becomes. Um, the more towers that you're going to have, you might have end user computing for Windows and um, Windows Server teams. Uh, then you might have Linux AIX teams, Linux um, Red Hat teams, and so on and so forth. So everyone will then get a copy of this spreadsheet and have to work out what is the patch that closes this vulnerability. And if if you're just looking at say a thousand vulnerabilities a month that you had to close and you could do um, the matching to each vulnerability in two minutes, um, which is very, very generous. I don't think anyone could do it that quickly. That's 33 hours worth of man effort every month for a thousand vulnerabilities. So um, we've, as I said, created a capability here which helps solve a, a real world problem and provide some real value on you know, reducing cost for operational expenses for staff, as well as um, closing out those uh, vulnerabilities quicker to reduce your risk and um, you know cleanse your attack surface essentially so that you are um, running the latest and greatest and closing those security holes so what we're going to do is have a look at um, how to do the install as I mentioned so we've got big fix insights is to be installed as part of a prerequisite so I'm just going to show you how you actually run the fixlet to do the install here as well as point to the documentation so here's the product documentation page for big fix insights for vulnerability remediation we can see some system requirements here that will talk around you know the, the number of um, CPU number of RAM disk space things like that based on the, the number of findings that you've got from your vulnerability assessment tool. But we're interested in doing deployment and configuration. So there are different instructions for uh, the installation and configuration of insights of vulnerability remediation. Certainly for the, the latest um, integration that we've got with Rapid7 it's now all done through the web UI. So the instructions there um, reference the web UI. And we can also do the installation of Tenable SC through web UI, but the documentation here shows um, using the Big Fix console. So I will go over this. So in this instance, we've got enabling the site, which is obviously a, always a first step that we've got to do. I've already done that in my environment. And then we've got subscribing um, computers to the site, which I have also done, as well as activating the analysis. So I really just am at the point now where I need to deploy insights for vulnerability remediation. So we will do that with a fixlet. We've also got various um, bits of information that we need to put in and so we will step through that as we run the fixlet. Let's switch across to Big Fix here. There's my deploy Big Fix Insights. 
So I'm going to choose a path name. <coughs> Excuse me. For me, I've got my Big Fix instance installed on a D drive under Big Fix Enterprise. So that's the most logical place for me to actually install my um, IVR service. So I'm going to say start services, um, initialize schema. I'm going to provide my database host name. which is actually just localhost because it's on this particular server. That's my database name. Now we need to here choose our platform that we've got. So I've got Tenable SC in my environment, so that's what I'm going to choose. So we want to have a look at our vulnerability and port schedule. So if we switch back and have a look at our document here. So here we've got the cron job standards that we can actually set when something's going to run. So it provides us here the characters for minute, hour, day of month, month, day of the week. So we've got some examples here. So if I wanted to run this every 60 minutes, it'd be Asta slash 60 Asta 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 Asta, which is exactly what I'll do. So if we paste this in here and we change this to Aster and then slash 60 which should be every 60 minutes then change that to Aster so it starts whenever that should be the correct format for every 60 minutes. should be my tenable instance that I've got and my account is obviously my tenable account that I've got created and the password now, I'm just not sure that I've got the right password here, so I guess I can take this URL and plug it in and make sure that it is actually correct. So I've keyed in my user ID and password there. And um, so I've verified that that's actually correct. So I can go back here and have a look at my connection details that I've got. And that should be correct now. So I can go take action and deploy this on the server that I want. So I want this on my Big Fix server. So I'm going to click OK there. And once this is actually finished, we should have it installed. Okay, so it's now completed. So we can have a look and see if our service is running. Let's do a refresh here. That's already there. Insights for vulnerability remediation is running. So if we have a look There's my BF IVR directory that I've created. Um, all the information that I've put should go into your default config. Uh, sorry, data flows config here. So we can see all of the details that we put in. We can see our 
data source we can see our encrypted password that we've put in our encrypted username and so that's got all the uh, connection information so that's all that I have for this video today if you want to scan this QR code here this is a great landing page that we have at Big Fix to help you um, find everything in just one particular uh, location so we've got all of our social media links there we have all our links to our um, free training that we provide online as well as details of um, professional certification and our YouTube channel which this is on as well as um, documentation resources raising support tickets and things like that so familiarize yourself with this URL it's a great one-stop landing page to help you with your big fix success in long term thanks for watching bye for now